So in the last video, we have seen how to use this filter method. So in this filter method, you can filter out all the elements which you are not required. Example, with this logic, it says, uh, use only those values which are which are divisible by 5. So what this filter will do is, it will give only those values to reduce which are divisible by divisible by 5. In fact, uh, whenever you work with this stream methods, or this, this is also called a functional programming because you don't have to focus on objects, we are focusing more on functions. You can say this is a function here, again a function and a function. So no need to create the object which we used to, we have a habit of doing in Java. So uh, stream says, if you want to uh, make this code more look more beautiful, what you can do is after every function, give a an enter and line it up so that we can see it in a better way. You know, it looks much better if you write one after the other. So this stream will convert all the values. Then all the values will go to filter and only those values will come out which satisfy this condition and th those values will go to reduce. Simple, but let's say how exactly this filter works. Now if I remove this code, or let me just comment this part so that we can understand what I'm doing here. Okay, and let me comment all this thing also. I, I guess you have, uh, you know how it works, so let me remove this thing so that our code will be more, look, it will look more simpler. Now let me write the thing once again. So I will say s out, values dot, it will convert into stream. Now this stream will accept, uh, uh, we'll say a dot. We'll say a dot, and we'll say a method which is filter. Now, if it's if you check this filter, filter says I want an object of predicate. Now you can see there's something as predicate here. Now, what is predicate? Now, predicate is a functional interface in Java, which was introduced in Java 1.8. So, filter needs an object of predicate. Let's let's the object of predicate will be p. So that means I need to create object of predicate. So let's create. So we'll say predicate. If I see this, see the signature of predicate, it accepts only one value. So it, the the type is only one. So you can see predicate is a functional interface which takes only one argument, and it returns a boolean value. So what we'll do is we'll say the type of all the elements are integer. We'll name this object as p. Since it's an interface, we cannot directly create object using new keyword. We need to define it. We'll say we'll define it here and we'll give a semicolon. And we have to also specify the type, which is integer. Now we need to import the package. So we'll say Control Shift I, which will import the package. And you can see a predicate belongs to a package, which is java.util.function. OK, and we'll say OK. Now once you have done with the import, we need to, say so whenever you provide a definition of interface, you have to define all the methods. Now let's say, let's go to this predicate interface and we'll see which method we need to define. So predicate is a functional interface, that means it, this interface will support lambda expression. Next, uh, the only method it has is the method name is test, which takes a parameter and returns a Boolean value because it checks for the condition. Now we'll define that method here, we'll say public, it returns a Boolean value and it, the method name is test, it accepts a value, so we'll say it is integer i. Now, it only returns a Boolean value, and when I say i mod 5 is equal to equal to 0, obviously it will return a Boolean value. So if your number is 12, 12 mod 5 is which is not 0, it will return false. Now what this filter will do is, if it returns a false, it will remove that element from the stream. Simple. So this is how it works. This is this is your uh, predicate here. Now uh, we can simply say, since we are done with the filter, we'll apply a reduce function. We'll say reduce with the same logic what we have done earlier. We'll say zero comma in bracket c comma e, which takes up value, and we'll say we'll use a lambda expression here, and we'll simply say c plus e. Again, we have we know how to use it. We, we have seen in the last video. Now, so I have created a predicate here, and I have passed that object p here in this filter. So once again, what is what is predicate? Predicate is an interface which was introduced in Java 1.8. It's a functional interface which has only one method called as test. So in order to create the object of predicate, what you have to do is we have to say predicate p new predicate where we define that define 
the class and you have to define the method which is test. And if I run this code now, you can see the answer is 185. Simple. Uh, can you make this code more efficient? And yes, we can make this code more efficient. Then question is how, uh, that we'll see in the next video.